Good evening everyone. Welcome to Anti Pollution Drive's live session. I am Nivedita, the echo host for Anti Pollution Drive Foundation. So every time on um, the APD's page, every week on APD's page, we come up with something really interesting. So today we thought why not celebrate Earth Hour and also celebrate with everybody who's celebrating Earth Hour and we thought we'll go live. So today's um, Earth Hour is actually planned by uh, our interns from uh, uh, the T TA Pi Management Institute Manipal from the Seva project interns uh, who are who are doing the internship at uh, anti pollution drive foundation so there are almost 11 students who are doing internship with us and uh, today we'll be going live with three other students so before i introduce uh, these three students who are going to come live with us from uh, the TAPMI, that is uh, TAPI Management Institute Manipal. Uh, we will uh, speak a little about Anti Pollution Drive Foundation. It is an NGO from Mangalore and we work towards environment conservation. We preach and practice sustainability. We work towards the uh, economy and towards the health. And also, very closely, we work with the waste pickers, providing them uh, these standards that they require in anywhere just stay with us have niyati on live with us and Amisha. I think Niyati is not able to join. I'll just try with Amisha. Am I audible? Yes. I can hear you. Just a second. I'm just uh, waiting for Amisha and Niyati to join. Hi. Hi, Aditya. Happy Earthar. Happy Earthar. Yeah, so um, we're just waiting for other two students to join. If you're thinking, people who have joined us, if you're asking me why uh, so much of dark and all that, we're celebrating Earth Hour. So I've switched off everything uh, which is not required at this point of time, at least one hour. So we'll be talking about Earth Hour and also Aditya and other two students will be sharing their experience about how uh, was their internship and what they learned and many other things. So please don't go away. Uh, let us have, I think, uh, Aditya, can you just check out if, um, yes, I'm if Amisha and uh, we'll just take two minutes of time for them. I've just invited them. Unable to join is what it is showing. Ma'am, they are not able to see any request to join. Uh, so, let me. I have actually sent them a request. Just check if you can send a request if possible. Yes, ma'am. Ask them to like, uh, um, you know, uh, watch our live. They can, they can easily join yes, us, or so they can send a request. They can send a request to us. We can accept it. Ash, uh, Misha is there. Let me just see if I can send a request to her now. Yes. Amisha, a request is sent to you. Yeah, I think Amisha has joined. Hi, Amisha. Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, completely. Uh, we yeah. need to have one more Niyati on board. So, let's just try getting her. Niyati. Meanwhile, I think you all can share your uh, share this live to uh, all your friends so that they can join all our interns who are doing internship with us. Yes, I think everybody is there. So um, here are our interns. 
from uh, uh, tapme that is uh, tfi management institute manipal from the seva project who are doing the internship with us at apd foundation so um, welcome first of all uh, this is supposed to be your session because uh, you guys have initiated that we'll do an earth hour uh, today and we thought let's go live and uh, tell everybody that we are doing earth hour and also tell others to switch off this one hour that is 8:30 to 9:30 this one hour to dedicate to mother earth for so much of uh, sacrifices that she does for us right so we have um, aditya we have niyati and we have amisha with us so i think uh, i have few questions for you um, since we are uh, celebrating earth hour so what exactly is earth hour and why do you think earth hour is really important do you really think that switching of lights for one hour will even help us yes i like to take that question so first of all thank you for giving us this, uh, this uh, opportunity so uh, to answer what is earth hour earth hour is one of the world's largest grassroots movements uh, movements for uh, for the environment as such it was first started in sydney in 2007 as a very relatively small event but now it is uh, uh, conducted across 190 countries and it is very popular throughout the globe and it is held in every final saturday of every year's march uh, month of march so what does it actually mean uh, simply put it is just an hour during the night around 8:30 to 9:30 or whatever is suitable for any organization institution or household uh, to turn off their lights just for one hour this was and is a call for uh, attention to climate change so uh, when we ask the question of uh, why the earth hour is very important we can throw some light on the aims of the movement as such so uh, the aim of the uh, movement is to uh, induce global level conversations on uh, protecting the nature uh, tackling the climate crisis and working towards a sustainable and a better future it is not only that it is not uh, an activity that uh, reduces carbon footprint or uh, reduces any other ripple effect per se but it is an action more like a symbolic action that encourages uh, everybody to think in a way that uh, would be sustainable to the earth for example let's say a person in in his office they adopt this movement and only then an employee gets to know about it but he will think from various angles during the movement what if i had turned off the uh, ac in my car or what if i had turned off in my, my car in the traffic that could have also had an impact on this so in that way the movement also becomes important in inculcating such thought process among individuals so uh, the question that you asked finally uh, it is a very common question that people ask during this earth hour as to what will this even uh, enable as in one hour of uh, switching off your lights won't actually do any good is what they actually think about and um, the answer for mm -hmm. for that is that uh, there is only one word answer for that that would be intention anything successful needs an intentional action to begin with so as i previously said it creates a multitude of thought processes within people apart from uh, the actual benefit that it creates it has a lot of indirect benefits as well so uh, that pause for one hour is for understanding how our actions hold up and set our intentions and resolutions for the upcoming months uh, in a better way nice amazing nice you have given a uh, what do you say a good information relating to earth hour um i think um, you guys are actually doing a wonderful job one is um, like when i asked you uh, if you can actually um, switch off all your lights and you know uh, come up with uh, a dia or something with a natural light or something like that um thing you guys told us that uh, it's better we switch off the lights and go out wherever there is light we'll just go and uh, utilize the light that is available for free i really like the concept um amazing so um again uh, talking about the will that you told that's very important i think i can see a lot of your friends also uh, encouraging you so much amazing thank you so much for joining please share uh, this live session to more and more people so that we can uh, you know get more people who can understand what we are actually doing here today uh, on the earth hour so uh, next um, talking about our internship uh, so i think it's been almost a week or so that i have asked you to do a lot of job Uh, in terms of maybe social media and posts and contents and reels and what not you've been amazing um, 
I mean, everybody who was there, uh, the level member, eleven members who were are there in the group are doing really great. But I think today on live we could have only three of them. We will definitely have live with the rest of them who are really interested. I think Aman was supposed to be there with us, uh, so he is not there because Instagram is not allowing us another person. So, uh, so how is, how has your internship with the Anti Pollution Drive Foundation been so far? Uh, did you learn wow. something from us? Um, I think I think yeah. Yeah. Because uh, ever since we've been so conditioned to the way we've been during the lockdown, and so used to taking electricity for granted or not caring much, now we have become. We finally got back on track. I think somewhere. by trying to do this project it again got instilled in our minds that there are certain ways in which little things we can also contribute um and it started uh, off that way and with the internship i think we've all learned a lot especially about the organization itself as to how many new initiatives have been taken up especially there's a black spot beautification that is a lot of information about the same can be seen from our website from the apdf website as well as their instagram page so there's quite a lot of things that we've learned and i think uh, others can also add on to the same i'm sure they share the same yes neeti can you can you share some yes it's you know it's very true that uh, ever since we are a child in school we are always taught how important protecting mother earth is or you know how important nature is giving it back but uh, during the course when we grow up we get busy with our lives we you know tend to forget at situations and moments that this is also something where we need to play a part or role because we are the ones who are going to take it forward now so i think uh, doing an internship with apd when we are facing the tough rigor here you know there are a lot of uh, things that we realized and the challenges that still persist and how grave the situation is and also understanding that you know little 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 steps that we keep putting in and the effort that we put in uh, can make a lot of difference like slowly yeah. each one of us find out that time uh, during the, everything that we keep doing so i think this is one thing that we've learned the most when in turning with you all that how important is it to take a small initiative be it like you know knowing how to pick up that one little wrapper and keep it in the proper bin that it's supposed to be or right. knowing how to bring the bags knowing what needs to be done what not these are very small steps that can bring a lot of change at our level right. correct so i think at a uh, lot of discussions we had on how we can uh, be more sustainable at our individual level Uh, i think there are many things that you also mentioned about your college like for example i spoke about the single use disposable and you all said me that uh, in the hostel you are using uh, the steel only so there is nothing like a single use disposable that's something that i feel uh, really nice that you understand or maybe um, with the uh, system you all are following a lot of sustainable practices okay um again uh, getting back to two years back do you all remember that during the lockdown the first lockdown happened and uh, there was a point where the, we were supposed to actually switch off uh, the lights at 8:30 and 9:30 that one hour and uh, you had to bang the mm, the plate um and then it went on something else but how many of you actually did that that day somehow did you we were in the five by something else. Didn't... Actually, I didn't really know that it's called as an earth hour. I thought Modi ji told, so we all started uh, banging. Of course, in many other places, uh, so many things happened. Uh, but did you all really do it that day? I did not do it. Okay. Like my family did, but uh, yeah, sure. We were not very much aware about that. You know, it's the earth hour, which is why we're right. switching off the light, lighting the day and doing it. something that you were not aware of okay. same here even i was not aware of that earth hour from i think from the last year we've done this last year also last year uh, anti pollution drive foundation was live with um, uh, the uh, founder uh, abdullah rahman and uh, we were live last year also we celebrated this year i was not very sure of celebrating but you guys made it for us and i think i'll ask i'll go with the next one um, i when you all came as an intern i didn't know that you're having a separate project uh, called as seva uh, under your um, 
management studies that you're doing. So what does SEVA at TAPME mean? And what does SEVA project is all about? And um, does it have anything in common when it is related to uh, Anti-Pollution Day Foundation? Uh, okay, uh, so, you know, uh, it's not like SEVA as a two-credit course. Uh, in term two, you know, we term two and term three just stretched across the two course. And, you know, it does not only teach us that you need to be sustainable or that things that you need to do to give back to the environment. Seva on and whole in Tafni is more about, you know, also uh, contributing our bit to lift these small scale organizations, letting the businesses know that, you know, the scale of the business does not matter. The revenue they're generating is not that important, but the initiative and the thought behind which they started the business and how to promote it and to make it you know how to bring it forward to the rest of the world so that we can help them go ahead with it so when we talk about the project that we are just a group of 11 students who are associated with anti pollution drive there are uh, like uh, uh, approximately 40 more such groups that are associated with our companies small scale and also large scale who are trying their bit to either bring it on the social media platform or to, you know, uh, bring them to our college to make them aware about things and to, you know, uplift their organization on and whole. With the contribution of sustainability, SEVA and SRME, of course, as a whole, has taught us uh, how sustainability is important in terms of business also, like what a business model is, what the three profit uh, le levels are, and associating with, along with business, has taught us a lot. So, anti-pollution drive and V11 have been associated with it. We have known the challenges that you guys face on a whole. What we can do on our part, how can we do coach to the, you know, more audience to make people more aware about how important it is to protect the situation we are in as of now by doing a small little step that we continue doing. So, I think uh, it has taught us a lot that you don't need to just be a manager two years down the line and do the best in the corporate world. But at the same time, you need to think from a sustainable point of view also because that is where the future lies now. Right. Thank you so much that you have somewhere, I mean, it's very important, uh, like I mentioned already in our um, uh, page also, that whenever you talk about MBA students, they're always thinking that what next? Uh, what's my future, where am I going to be a manager, where am I going to get a job and many other things. So it's very important that you don't forget that where you're staying. You have only one earth, you have only one planet, you don't have another planet and that's in your hands and we are the ones who can actually make a lot of change, right? So, um, like, um, so what after internship, guys? What are you guys planning? Are you going to take forward uh, Anti-Pollution Drive Foundation? Now, again, let me just tell to people who do not uh, really know what our uh, interns are doing. They're trying to um, boost our page uh, with their content. Uh, if you can see uh, last one week's content, they are made by our interns, um, Aditya, uh, Niyati, Amisha. There are many other. I, I can't recall everyone. A uh, few other names. I think you all can tell them. I want to thank them. That's the reason. Aditya, you can go ahead with other few names that I have not mentioned. So who are the other interns who are with us? Yes, ma'am. So uh, the other interns include uh, Aman, uh, Anvita, Aparna, uh, Rishab, uh, Praveen, and uh, we have Manasa as well. So Everybody has worked their part. Uh, we have put together our efforts to make sure there is good content on the page. Uh, it is running very good. And we're making sure that we are not only just providing content, we are also focusing on other aspects as well. For example, we try to uh, uh, get into the YouTube channels as well and make sure right. it is alive and kicking. And we thought of to uh, make sure that uh, we provide reels as a platform to uh, provide our facts and uh, for example, even now, uh, today, the Earth Hour, we thought we should post something as a creative and we were able to do it. So right. in that way, we as a team are thinking of how to improve the social media uh, platform for a media. So people watching us, uh, kindly follow our page uh, because we have, we, w one thing that uh, you can uh, give us for free is a uh, lot of love and support. 
uh, which we definitely require to push ourselves because as an ngo uh, you're not just uh, you know being a charity or doing something for people who are um, you know um, unfortunate or maybe something like that it's much more than that it's not just being uh, finding out a miserable person and then just going and helping them out it is much more than that ngo is now not about a company which just works for people who are not having their stand but also i can say it's nothing it's not less than any corporate but yeah definitely we work at the ground level so um, now every earth hour um, we have this particular thing there is one kind of pledge uh, that generally uh, we make like for example um, any habit of yours which is not really good uh, for the mother earth you give up so um, i have this bad habit uh, that is um, i overcharge my phone sometimes i forget that i have plugged in and sometimes of course i plug it in and i forget to switch it on that's a different case but uh, also most of the times i leave it for a long time and sometimes i don't switch off uh, certain at certain places so maybe i will try my level best to be more conscious about switching off the lights so this is what i pledge this earth hour aditya will go with you what pledge are you going to make so uh, i here by pledge that i will reduce the use of air conditioner because okay. personally i have felt that i have used it excessively when it is not needed so that would be my pledge for this year yeah right good good one uh, we go with the uh, niyati i tend to leave my lights fan everything on even when i'm here in hostel going down so i think that is one thing that i need to reduce upon i have it a uh, one thing that i majorly need to reduce upon and second would be that even now like even though i know how you know um yeah we shouldn't be using plastic that much yet at any point of time even when i'm carrying a bag i tend to take a plastic bag and put my stuff in that so these are two things that i pledge not to go you know not to go forward with and to make sure that i use light less switch it off at every single point of time and also stay no to plastic and instead nice. get my own bag that that's amazing that's what i always preach about today also i was telling to most of the things we know that we are supposed to carry uh, the bag because we are going for shopping we know it but still we will be like he'll give us the he'll give the cover so why do we have to really take it make a point that you at least carry your backpack when you're going for shopping not vegetable i mean something else when you're going for shopping say no to even paper bags for that matter because they take really a lot of resources in the manufacturing so again you all are studying in seva and you will know many other things anyway uh, we go with amisha yes amisha what's your initiative um, what's your pledge i think uh, very carelessly i tend to waste water a lot so like especially when you're up in the morning and you're doing something else while you're brushing or something else and there's quite a lot of water getting wasted which i think i'd like to reduce on various occasions that's something that would really help amazing i think uh, few things which definitely most of us end up doing uh, wrongly i think that's something that we all need to reduce i think i also take uh, uh, um, whatever amisha said about water i it didn't realize something i i also need to reduce a lot of it okay uh, so i'll just tell few things about anti pollution drive foundation which people do not know i think most of our interns know about it so we have uh, the uh, project going on that is uh, apd's black spot beautification project uh, black spot basically is a um, garbage heap or anywhere where you see on the streets uh, the big pile of garbage uh, which is not a right place to uh, you know throw Uh, people, but people still throw it. So we've taken that challenge of uh, lifting up all those garbages from uh, spots that we have identified in Mangalore, and um, we're trying to uh, get them off and uh, make that particular place look more beautiful, so that people don't again come and litter that particular place. So my earnest request to all the interns and everybody who's watching us is that. try to stop people who are actually throwing there could be many reasons like for example corporation may not come and collect um, your garbage um, most of the times what you can do is you generate two kinds of uh, two kinds of waste one is wet and one is dry dry does not harm you and most of the times what we see in our black spot uh, area is dry waste which could be recycled for good 
and once it is dumped somewhere and once it is contaminated it cannot be recycled so kindly make sure that uh, you know uh, people in and around you if they are doing something like this you be the change you be the person who can stop them do this tell them that dry waste do not harm them and the second thing is wet waste if possible uh, composting is the best thing that you can do to reduce a lot of waste outside and i think uh, that is it any other questions guys if anybody has a questions who's joined us uh, you can also ask us our interns will be ready to answer or maybe if something relating to anti pollution drive i'll be ready to answer do not forget to follow us because we need more and more love and support like i told you any other questions guys you have some questions you can post it to us aditya amisha uh, and niyati any questions Okay. We have Somebody questions is... as to okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, usually, uh, for the audience as well, usually this is Nivedita, ma'am. For you, any time you uh, approach her, she'll be giving uh, tips as to how sustainably or how uh, conservatively you can be in every aspect. So uh, this is how we have been, and uh, it has been a really good uh, thing for us. It has been a great experience for us. Thank you so much. Now, I think there are so many friends of. Yours who try to uh, really pull you here. I think that's okay. We'll take it as an encouragement. We need to educate shopkeepers to not allow customers throw away waste in a bad way. Definitely, I think um, you can someday uh, take a challenge from uh, the Seva team and just go around and make the awareness. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to make a point this also. With the um, garbage that we are collecting and uh, we are taking off and making the place more beautiful, we are also creating the awareness in and around that particular surrounding where we are working. There are so many locations. I think for now, ten locations are done. We have fifty locations like that in Mangalore. Mm, you guys can also make a project like this. Okay, uh, that's by Sachin Bharadwaj who has sent us. I think uh, we've got good anything. Anybody? We've just. I just want to see. if somebody has any kind of question okay i don't see any questions as of then but i think it would be great if you narrate a short story on how did you guys start with this community uh, as in uh, you okay my oh i don't have this light with me now okay uh, with our community in the sense i take it into consideration anti pollution drive is what you're saying i do not really know what community are you talking about so apd is an ngo um, where our uh, founder abdullah rahman uh, traveled more cities and uh, found that lot of cities are getting polluted and all of that and he is from uh, mangalore so wherein he felt that mangalore should not be the next polluted city like this so wherein we started about uh, talking about and also making a lot of filing a lot of petitions uh, where we were able to save the nature and many other things um, wherein we could do a lot in terms of pollution uh, when it comes to air pollution slowly we began to understand that it's not only air pollution there are many other things like plastic pollution is one of them sustainability preaching is one of them that we are supposed to do so we come we came up with something like that and today we are anti pollution drive foundation having interns from tapmi and they are really great okay i think that's this long story short mm, anything else guys or should we just end up it's anyway 2 minutes for the uh, earth hour to end up so i think uh, it's been wonderful we've had a great time my dia is also almost done so i think um, we just end up the live session it was great uh, talking to you guys and thank you so much for joining bye everyone thank you thank, thank you so much ma'am thank you mm -hmm.